Hi, I'm William from the Attachment Company. Let me show you how and where our log splitting cones are made. Let's go. So our log splitting cone bodies start off as EN8D steel in round bar format, just like this. You can see there EN8, that is 250 mil diameter. The diameter is obviously changes depending on the size of cone. There is a 300 mil diameter that will make the big cone. From the black bar, initial machining is carried out. Here you can see the hex hub cones for the USA market. You can see the cones have underwent initial machining and the hub hole has been machined along with the holes for any adapters that need required in the future. That's the 200 mil diameters. Here is a larger 300 mil diameter. You can see it's undergone initial machining to remove big chunks of material from the outside of the bar. After that initial machining process, the cones have come here, where the pre-drilled holes are tapped to M16, as you can see on the machine there. Those holes are tapped first before any further machining happens. From there, you can see the cones are taken to this stage where more material is removed to form the rough shape of the outside of the cone. In the case of the, that's a 250 mil diameter, that's a 300 millimeter diameter. And you can see here the 200 millimeter diameter before it has the outside threads machined into it. You see also the hole has been machined and drilled to accept the tip. Initial machining is done on the multi-axis CNC. Then the final threading process is carried out on one of these CNC machines. Leaving a final cone that looks like this. This is a 300mm diameter cone after the machining works and the threading has been complete. All that's left is the hole to be drilled and tapped across the diameter of the cone to accept the shaft from the drive unit. As you can see, there is a completed one there. Once the cones reach this stage, they are then quality checked. There's not one on the bench at the moment, but they are measured for height, diameter, thickness, material, against the drawn. Every single cone goes through this inspection process before they're allowed to be packed and shipped. We will do 100% check. Okay, on, so e on every single one? Oh yes. Uh, every single one. You do? Yeah, 100% wow. they are doing inspection. Reports. This is inspection report for that part. We will put number here. We will identify number. Yes. The identification number we will do. For second part, this is the time. <laughs> So that's the bodies of our cones. You can see the different sizes behind me and the, the two inch hex fitment and the 65 mil round fitment for both the UK and the USA. Once this is done, they then need to make the tips. Let me show you how they make the tip as well. Here's some completed tips and there is some cone bodies. So the tips start off life as 42 cm or 4140 black round bar. You can see behind me here in various diameters. Those are then machined on the multi-axis CNC before being sent away to be induction hardened and then assembled onto the cone bodies. Those are made from 4140 as opposed to the EN8 from the bodies because it is a heavier duty, more wear resistant material. And then they are induction hardened to further increase the wear resistance. So hopefully that takes you step by step through the production of our log splitting cones in the three different diameters and the two different models for the UK and the USA. They're then assembled, packed and shipped to both our warehouses in the UK and Scotland and in Denver, Colorado. Once again, as usual folks, if you have any questions on any of our products or the production process of the cones or as I say, anything else we manufacture or sell, please get in the comments below let us know your thoughts. I'll be happy to address it in any future videos. 
and as always if you could press subscribe down below as well that would be very much appreciated i'm william from the attachment company thanks again for watching and we'll catch you in the next video cheers